Welcome to the Drupal SEO Tools Overview. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to gain a significant edge in the search engine rankings using a one-of-a-kind tool set built exclusively for Drupal. If you've been around Drupal for a while, you likely know it's already a solid search engine friendly architecture. Drupal SEO Tools integrates what's already great about the platform with a powerful new suite of tools designed to make Drupal the ultimate search engine optimization system. This is the SEO Tools dashboard. It blends critical data with links to vital optimization tools. Its goal is to facilitate more intelligent SEO workflows. If you have experience with Google Analytics, this page will look somewhat familiar. It integrates metrics from Google with data from your own website. It also provides related links to detailed reports, Drupal SEO modules, and Google Webmaster Tools. For the purpose of this demo, I've hooked into the analytics for level10design.com. To get a feel for how this dashboard works, let's take a look at the keyword section. What you'll notice is that we have three summary reports. The first one lists the top five most popular keyword phrases over the last 30 days. The trending report gives us the most popular keywords today, and the bottom report lists any keywords that have been signified by the site's admin as important. We haven't designated any yet, that's why the counts are all still at zero. We also have these handy links up here, allowing us to access additional tools and reports. So for example, this first one gives us a more robust version of the reports we have in our dashboard. The second one links us over to Google Analytics so we can do deeper metrics research. The third one links us to an internal Drupal tool that allows us to do keyword research. The fourth one links us over to Google Webmaster Tools, and this is a report that just shows popular search terms and where we appear in the Google listings. And the fourth one just pops up a list from Google Webmaster Tools of words that Googlebot has found while crawling our website. Each one of these sections has a different set of links and tools depending on the context of the subject. To understand what the Drupal SEO tools is and why it was created, we need to look at the SEO magic formula. The magic formula is great architecture times great content times great backlinks equals great rankings. You need all three to rank well. If you do a reasonably good job at all three, you'll outrank more than 95% of other websites. The first one, architecture, refers to the way your site is coded. There are a lot of technical parameters a site must follow in order to be search engine friendly. Luckily with Drupal, you don't have to worry too much about the technical stuff. Drupal Core, plus some popular contributed SEO modules, plus a well-coded theme will give you everything you need. There is one catch, though. You're going to have to install and configure a dozen or so modules to properly optimize Drupal's architecture. This is the first area where SEO Tools helps. It provides an auto-configure wizard that not only tells you what to install, but automatically installs all the modules to optimal presets with one click. The next ingredient for great rankings is great content. In the online marketing world, it's often said content is king. But not just any content, it has to be well-targeted and optimized to be effective. This is where Drupal SEO tools really excels. Traditionally, Drupal's provided little in the way of help as far as writing search-optimized content. SEO tools integrates a suite of modules that helps you each step of the way, even if you're a novice. As far as the third one backlinks, this is where people from other websites link to your pages. This is something that for the most part is outside of your CMS's control. However, with great content and the right enablers, Drupal can at least in part help you facilitate these backlinks. Let's do a quick run through of how you might use SEO tools to do optimization. For this example, let's say that you want to get into the trendy location-based mobile apps business. You want to get people to your site who are looking for those apps. The first step is to do keyword research to find out more specifically what people are searching for. We can do that directly from our Drupal admin by clicking on this research link. Here we can just simply type in some keywords that we might want to research. So I might want to use location-based applications. I click Submit, and it comes back a report of the popularity of these terms. Once we've found some keywords that we like, 
we can add them to our site prioritized list of targeted phrases. And just simply click on this and say, that sounds like a pretty good one. Here's another one. And maybe some of the ones about the iPhone. Maybe we want to do some research on some other terms, such as the abbreviation, just apps. And we want to go ahead and flag this, and flag this. And maybe we want to do a little bit more research, such as, what is this app store location all about? We can click here and research into that keyword. Not a whole lot of traffic here, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Once we're done finding our keywords, we can click over to our lists. This one shows us a list of all words we've researched, but when a content author wants something to write about, they can click into the site keywords. And this will tell them the things that the site admins thinks are the highest priorities to write about. So as a knowledge worker, I might go, aha, I should write a blog post about location-based apps. So let's go look at how to optimize a blog post for our new term. I'm going to go ahead real quickly and copy and paste some content in. Now that I've added my content, I want to go ahead and tweak it for the best keyword phrase. So I want to do a little bit more research and can type into this keyword taxonomy field. Location-based apps or location-based applications. And now I can pull back up some keyword research. And what I see is that the site admin has prioritized both of these as high, but I am seeing somewhat more traffic, 60% more, for the abbreviated version. So I'm going to go ahead and optimize for that. Now I want to check at how well I've written my content. So I'm going to go down to the content analysis area, and I'm going to paste in the keyword phrase that I'm targeting here, and click in Analyze Content. So I've got a few different reports and tools here. The first one, Alchemy, actually extracts terms from my content in case I want to do any more keyword research. So for example, this is interesting. We have location-based iPhone. I want to find out more about what that's about. So we do a quick analysis, and we see there's really not a whole lot of search traffic for this term, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But if I wanted to, I could add it to my page terms. What I'm really interested, though, is the SEO analysis. And what this is doing is it's counting and looking at statistics for all the critical areas for optimization and coming back with various recommendations. I'm going to go ahead and close this page. And what you'll see is I have these recommendations here so I can conveniently work with my different areas. So for example, it's telling me that my title's a little long and that my keyword phrase doesn't appear. Well, what all I need to do is just change this to apps. And then I want to change this to applications. And I'm going to go ahead and abbreviate this to mobile. I hit a refresh, and now we see it's optimized. And I can work through my other areas, such as my body and my meta tags, doing something very similar. Things are looking pretty good now, so I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now that our note is published, let's run back to our site keyword lists. And here what we see is we now have one page that's optimized for our two terms, for our location-based applications. If we want to view those nodes, we can go ahead and click on the list here. Now there's something else that happened that you didn't really see because there's only one node in this demo. But there's another module called Link Intelligence that will group nodes together around specific keywords. Why this is important is if you're going after competitive terms, it's not enough just to create a single page optimized for one word. You actually have to create clusters of pages, and Link Intelligence helps us do that. So let's fast forward a few weeks to where our page has been crawled and indexed by the search engines. And let's see how we did. Wow, we're number one in the regular listings right below the news. And of course, it does involve a little bit of luck to get a number one listing. You're not going to get it every time. But as the old adage goes, the best luck is the kind you make yourself. And SEO tools doesn't hurt you on your path. So with a placement like this, we'd expect a little traffic. Let's run back to our dashboard. And of course, here we see that we're getting seven to eight visits a day. Not bad for a keyword that's so important to our site, a 70% out of 100. And of course, this is just seven or eight hits for our main keyword phrase. There are actually going to be several different variants that will be generating much more traffic. To see that, we can click on the page link and get that information out of Google Analytics. 
So Google's telling us that this page has been viewed over 1,100 times in a one-month period. To see how many are from the search engines, we can click on Entrance Keywords, and we see it's just over 900. That's about 30 per day. Not too bad for a single optimized blog post. In this tutorial, we only scratch the surface of what Drupal SEO Tools does and how it can be used. For SEO novices, the suite is a great way to start optimizing like the pros. If you are a professional, the admin integrated tools will streamline your workflows and facilitate communications among site authors light years beyond the old emailing of spreadsheets and copy and paste methods of traditional SEO. Our hope is that SEO tools will put you well on the path towards an enhanced results-oriented website. Happy optimizing!